Palestinians displayed a giant traditional uh, headscarf at a stadium in the city of Dura near the southwestern bank town of Hebron. The Palestinian headscarf has become a symbol of Palestinian nationalism dating back to 1936 to 1939 Arab revolt in Palestine. Palestine. The Palestinian headscarf is a checkered black and white scarf that is usually worn around the neck or head. A civil engineer has called for all construction to halt immediately until building standards are improved following Tuesday's deadly earthquake which struck Albania's Adriatic coast. At least 41 people were killed and more than 750 others were injured from 6.4 magnitude tremor. Officials fear the death toll could rise as they continue to search beneath the rubble of collapsed buildings looking for bodies. In the aftermath of the earthquake, questions have been raised as to why some buildings collapsed while others appear untouched in the same area. New Vision has shown a survivor being found in rubble almost two days after a deadly quake struck Albania's Adriatic coast in the video film. The man is seen trapped amidst the collapsed building and Duris before a rescuer hands him a bottle of water. A dead toll from the earthquake has risen to 40. Hong Kong protesters held a Thanksgiving Day rally and urged the world to follow the U.S. by passing laws backing human rights in semi-autonomous Chinese territory. U.S. President Donald Trump signed the two bills into law. One of the laws prescribes economic sanctions on Asia's top financial hub and diplomatic action on Hong Kong and Chinese officials found guilty of human rights abuses. The other bans the export of certain non-lethal munitions to Hong Kong police. Protesters hope that laws will spur Britain and other Western nations to follow suit. China has reacted uh, angrily to the U.S. bills. Customers across India are resorting to careful purchasing of onions as soaring prices of the kitchen staple has made it difficult for them to consume it in enough quality on daily basis. Onions play a prominent role in Indian cuisine, but domestic prices have risen after the harvest of summer sown crops, which was expected to argument supplies, was delayed and damaged by untimely rains. Prices were as high as 100 rupees in southern Thiruvananthapuram, while in New Delhi, wholesale onions were priced between 60 to 70 rupees a kilo. and two birds made some 30 years ago. Hungarian prosecutors have charged the captain of the Swiss cruise liner, which hit and sank another boat in May this year. The Ukrainian captain of the cruise has been charged with misconduct, leading to mass casualties and 35 counts of failing to provide help in a disaster which killed 27 people. A smaller tourist boat uh, Mermaid with 35 people on board sank after being hit by the river cruiser in Budapest under a bridge during a heavy rain on May 29th. The world's first hydrogen-powered 5G port in East China's Qingdao became operational with the new high-tech equipment, allowing unmanned vehicles to transport containers in a more efficient and environmental-friendly manner. 
The green smart port at Qingdao, new Qianwan automatic container terminal in East China's Shandong province, not only handles the loading and unloading of containers by intelligent systems, but also uses nearly 100 automated equipments, including unmanned guided vehicles and high-speed rail cranes powered by hydrogen fuel. These advancements would help uh, the entire terminal to achieve its goal of zero emissions while still operating to its full potential, according to senior personnel. Panda twins are born in Berlin in early September are doing wonderfully. A video released by Berlin Zoo suggests the video shows one of the cubs uh, which are yet to have been named lying on its stomach and hiccuping. According to Berlin Zoo, the twins each weigh around 5 kilograms now and are developing at a good rate. Giant panda Meng Meng gave birth to twins in early September this year and looked after the tiny creatures who are still pink colored at the time of birth. More than 18,000 people across Kenya are displaced due to the onset of a severe rainy season. According to the government, at least 120 people across the country have been killed, including 72 who lost their lives in West Pokot County in northwestern Kenya. In West Pokot, major roads and bridges have been damaged, making it more difficult to provide aid to the area, especially after the collapse on Wednesday of the vital bridge. Doctors are worried that disease and other waterborne diseases might spread. Flash flood warnings were issued in San Diego as cars were seen swayed by flood waters on Thanksgiving Thursday during the storm's three-day stint over the Southern California region. San Diego could see more than three inches of rain and up to six inches of snow while Southern California and Arizona had heavy rainfall and flash flood warnings. Snow was seen in New Mexico and other parts of California as well. Flash flood. Kashmir Valley is covered with fresh snowfall. This is the third snowfall in the month of November. The Med Department has said that after uh, it's uh, 1959 that Kashmir has received the amount of snow in the month of November, indicating the effects of global warming. Heavy snowfall has been reported from. Zojala, Mina Marg, Gulmarg, Sonmarg and other higher reaches of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh at minus 4.3. Kargil remains the coldest district. The winter storm in the U.S. West Coast has disrupted the travel plans for Americans who typically jam highways and airports to visit family and friends over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Los Angeles International Airport has uh, told domestic passengers to arrive three hours early to beat highways clogged by traffic on one of the busiest travel days of the year. In Sierra County, California, bad weather caused car crashes and long queues of standstill traffic. The weather who was set in and a record uh, 55 million Americans travel by planes, trains and automobiles at at least 50 miles from their homes for Thanksgiving holiday.
pair of boots belonging to French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte are expected to fetch up to 80,000 euros at the auction in Paris. However, auctioneers say it's difficult to verify whether the leather riding boots said to have worn during his final exile in St. Helena really belong to the French Emperor. But the boots match description of Napoleon's orders with a shoemaker, Jacques, and were owned by Napoleon's final companion, Henry Gatien Bertrand after the Emperor's death in 1821. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un expressed great satisfaction after a successful test of a super mu large multiple launch rocket system. North Korea fired two range uh, projectiles into the sea of its coast on Thursday. Pyongyang's official news agency KCNA confirmed that the launch was aimed at finally examining the combat application of the weapon which proved its military and technical superiority and its firm re reliability. The latest test could be a Thanksgiving reminder to the United States of a year-end deadline Kim has set for Washington to show flexibility in the stalled denuclearization talks. President Trump made a surprise uh, Thanksgiving visit to the U.S. troops in Afghanistan on Thursday, said he believed Taliban insurgents would agree to a ceasefire out in America's longest war. This was his first to Afghanistan after becoming president and comes just a week after a prisoner swap between Washington and Kabul that raised hopes for a revival of peace agreement. Trump met with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and served Turkey to some U.S. troops before sitting down to eat Thanksgiving dinner with them. He chatted and had had his picture taken with some of the U.S. forces deployed there. Meanwhile, Taliban has said that they have been holding meetings with senior U.S. officials in Doha since last weekend, hinting at the possibility of resuming formal peace talks. The president knows what I'm saying here. A group of Chileans who claim to have suffered eye trauma during confrontation with the security forces rallied outside the presidential palace on Thursday, calling for President Sebastian Pineda to take responsibility for human rights violation during the ongoing protest. It's been more than five weeks since peaceful protest and violent rights took place across Chile over low wages, the high cost of living and persistent inequality. At least 26 people have been killed, more than 13,000 injured and 25,000 have been detained amid demonstrations. Pinera has vowed that any violation of human rights by security forces will be investigated. European Parliament joined uh, the United States in condemning uh, the Cuba's detention and reported mistreatment of Cuban leader Jose Daniel Ferrer, who the Cuban communist uh, government calls a manipulative U.S.-backed counter-revolutionary. The move came a day after Cuban state television aired an unusual report which included footage from the hidden cameras in jail apparently showing Ferrer well and falsely accusing a guard of hurting him. Activists from his opposition organization, the Patriotic Union of Cuba, said it could have been staged or doctored. Cuban authorities arrested Ferrer two months ago on charges of assault that his relatives say are an excuse to silence him. On the other hand, Cuba says the Trump administration is using Ferrer to undermine the government as part of its attempt to overthrow socialism in Latin America.